Assalamu alaikum, my dear students, I wish you have a good day and I hope that you all are safe and sound at your home. So dear students, we are starting our fourth lecture and poem three, sorry, poem two, the, the man of life upright. Dear student, this, the poet, the man of life upright was written by Thomas Kempion. Of course, Thomas Kempion, he was a scholar and he's giving a wonderful way to a man that how to spend a life and of the honorable life. My dear students, in life, one thing is very difficult to do, to be the man of honest, to be the man of honorable. Every man is searching to lead his life honestly. He wants to be honorable. So he will give you some tips, some pearls that how to lead a happy life. Well, the man of life upright, the man of life upright, upright means that honest life. You lead an honest life, a peaceful life. Well, Thomas Kempion, he was born in 1567 and 1620. Just students, he was actually a scholar and he was as well the lawyer, but he is famous for a poet. Okay, Thomas Kempion in this poem, the man of life upright, this poem shows the deep religious sense of the poet. It's a religious. It gives some tips to a man that how to spend a life. That, that how the pure and innocent heart of an upright man is free from the evil idea and intentions. Although the poem was written so long ago, its language is easy to understand, the poet did not often put it into practice his own theories about rhymeless verse, but also wrote in a, this common way of writing. Campion tells us about the directness and simplicity of the honest man, which breeds these qualities in every life. What quality? That a man who leads a, an admirable life, who does not think to harm anyone else, and is free all about. The pure and innocent heart of an upright man is free from all evil ideas and intentions. Uh, one of the men of uh, just Martin, he was a world essayist, he said that action should be judged by an intention. This is the same quotation said by Muhammad, peace be upon him, that your actions should be judged by your intentions. The man of life upright, Thomas Campion. My dear students, before that, let me have an introduction all about it. That the pure and innocent heart of an upright man is free from evil ideas and intention. He possesses in life in simple happiness. Dear students, if you remember, there is a one poem in first year that the character of a happy life was written by Sir Henry Button. And this, the man of life upright, Thomas Campion. This, the message is sent concerned that to lead a happy life, lead an honest life. Honest life can give you happy life. And happiness cannot be purchased and all about money. If you spend a lot of money, you cannot purchase happiness. Happiness is all about a piece of satisfaction. It's all about satisfaction. One has a perfect control over his wishes and emotions can lead an honest and ad admirable life, an honorable life. As a result, worldly laws and problems fail to disturb him. If you keep high dreams, big dream, you would fall down and you, you will lead a very short life. The man faces the natural calamities such as stormy, winds, heavy rain, and, and tempest, calmly and courageously. A person who leads really a calm, a peaceful life can lead a very good life. And an, an honest and admirable man is a friend of God. I remember the Leo Tolstoy once said that the faith is the force of life. Your faith is your faith, your faith can give you a very good achieved life. And good achieved life 
cannot be given as a gift. It can be earned through the sacrifices. The poet Thomas Kempion says that this man shows a complete indifference to the happy and unhappy events of life. But dear students, we celebrate a lot of happiness in our life. But we fail to understand things very dramatically. Well, I'm going to translate it as well. We are reading it. The man of life upright. Ek nek insan ki zindagi. Ek imandar zindagi guzarne wala jo shaks hai. Uski bari mein shayar Thomas Kempion ki kya khayalat hai. Chalte hai aur usko hum padhte hai ki shayar mein kya suggestion de raha hai. Well, we are starting it. The man of life upright as the title is concerned. Whose guilt lays heart is free. Ek jo nek insan hai na, uski dil mein kabhi burai ka khayal hi nahi aata. Whose guilt is heart is free. Whose heart is totally innocent. His heart is free. His heart is proclaimed from all dishonest deeds. Uska dil hamisha bad niyati ke kaamu se azad hota hai. A thought of vanity. Or wo guru or dhoke se hamisha dur rehta hai. The person who is leading an admirable and respectable life, who keeps him away from all the reach of bad life, those who disturb him. Second stanza, the man who silent days, aisa shaks, apne zindagi par sukul andaz se guzarta hai. Kaun sa shaks, the man who silent days, uski zindagi, wo kisi se umedhi bhi nahi rakh sakta. The man whose silent days in harmless joy are spent. A person whose actions are silent. A person who leads a very silent days. A person who leads undisturbing days. In harmless joys are spent. I spend a person who would spend a very peaceful days. Who will not disturb others. And he leads his life happily. Who hopes cannot delude. Because he does not keep high dreams, nor sorrows discontent. Uski umide use kapi dhoka nai de sakti. Kyun? Kyunke wo ise badi badi umide nahi rakta kisi par. Aur uski umide use gamzada aur paresha nahi karte. Usko namutamin nahi karte. Because he keeps a very satisfied life. I made a good quotation that if you, a person who is expecting on others, he is actually victimized by a cancer. Do whatever you want to do. Do yourself. Do not rely on others. Try to lead an independent life. Not sorrow's discontent. Uske kapi bhi, matlab, jo pareshan is ko kapi bhi, Unhappy nahi karti. That man needs neither towers nor armor for defense. 